welcome back to rich tech today i'm going to show you how to replace a one out magsafe charger cable basically we're going to replace this one out cable with a brand new one in my previous videos i've shown you how to repair the one out cable itself and uh, that is more satisfying and cheaper but in this case we're going to go the more expensive way and buy a new cable and uh, replace this old one with a new one and our end result is a brand new cable or charger first we need the brand new cable itself you can get one of these uh, for around ten dollars get it shipped or where we can get it no problem but a brand new one uh, replacement will cost around that much and the first step we will need to open our magsafe charger this is a tricky a procedure but with a pair of uh, long nose pliers or any other pliers you can be able to pry open the magsafe charger just at the edges where the clips fold into if you put your pliers in there you can pull the magsafe uh, covers apart that's how you do it it's so simple uh, basically we want to go in there and get access to where the wires originate from put away your clips uh, somewhere careful so that you don't lose them uh, somewhere safe that is uh, then uh, you pull out uh, the rubber sheet at the end there and uh, cut off the spoiled uh, old wire now you'll remain with a pair of uh, wires protruding from your charger these are the V out the white one and the V return on your side on the side of the new uh, replacement cable you need to trim to size this come long enough uh, you can trim this to size just to make them to be manageable to work with then you expose again once again at least a millimeter on each end removing the wire sheet the rub the plastic sheeting which covers the wires to give you a place to work on this is where you will solder your new joint uh, to the charger wires remember we have the same on the charger end all we need at the end of this is for the positive and the positive to be joined and the negative and negative to be joined uh, kindly uh, peel off the wire uh, the rubber or plastic sheeting from the charger end to that is from its cables you don't need to work inside the charger this is why we open the charger to remove the wires and expose them and uh, so we remove a bit let's say a millimeter of the insulation so as to expose the wires in the end we need the positive and the positive that is the white ones we out to be joined on the negative on the negative that is the returns to be joined it's simple black to black white to white next you need to apply a bit of soldering wire using a soldering gun to each of the exposed points both on the charger side and on the new wire side just a put a bit of solder enough to secure the joint uh, make sure the solder is well placed well applied all around the wire so that uh, the joint can be more firm and secure this uh, is a very simple fix anybody can do this at home all you need is a new cable soldering bit and the soldering wire your old charger and uh, a razor blade oh and some insulating tape we are going to know and to see how we are going to use the insulating tape next solder your wires together this is simple white to white and black to black as i said before the white is the v out uh, cable or the positive cable 
that's one which brings in the current and the black one is the return so ensure you solder all round so the solder is evenly applied around the joint next we need some insulation this is where we said we are going to use uh, the insulating tape insulate this joint so that there be, be no short the joints don't touch cover it uh, carefully all round you can also use a heat shrink tubing uh, to cover this joint it is more neat but uh, simple insulating tape will do and uh, you do this for both the V out as you've done here in the negative side solder and then insulate make sure your solder is uh, soldering is perfect and uh, you don't leave any uh, soldering wire hanging and at the end of this you insulate now your joint is now perfect and you're ready to uh, assemble back your charger together but before that you need to check if your charger is working make sure it is working fine perfectly fine you may have done a lot of work for nothing so you don't want to assemble your charger and uh, find out that it is not working this is all a permanent uh, process we are going through and we need a perfect finish so that our work should be worthwhile next we push in the rubber sheeting back into the charger and uh, we seal our joint our charger joint with some super glue yes we also need super glue in this case ensure you apply enough glue around the edges of the plastic which uh, form the charger casing make sure no glue runs out you want to have a perfect nice uh, finish equal to new or better than new next insert your clips uh, back in place and this should be done quickly because the super glue is starting to settle you have only a few seconds to do this and then you press your joint back together tightly you can use a clamp you can stand on it you can put a stone on it all you need is a perfect charger like this at the end now if you like this video you can subscribe you can hit the notification bell and uh, until the next video, bye.